my name is Keith Waldron. I am the director of the new Biorefinery Research Centre at the Institute of Food Research on the Norwich Research Park. The new research centre has been funded by the BBSRC and by EDA. The aim of this centre is to carry out research and development in order to exploit and improve the exploitation of biomass produced in the agri-food chain. There is a lot of waste produced in the agri-food chain and much of this has the potential to have added value through the conversion to other materials such as fuels and platform chemicals. One of the major waste streams that we're focusing on at the moment is wheat straw. This is produced in very large tonnages in the UK because we grow a lot of wheat. The wheat straw itself is relatively low value but under the right conditions it can be converted into fuel bioethanol. In principle this sounds relatively straightforward. Wheat straw is full of cellulose and if the cellulose can be degraded using for example cellulose degrading enzymes the glucose that's released can then be fermented to ethanol. Unfortunately the cellulose in the straw is locked up in a very complex structure of lignin and the only way to liberate the cellulose so it can be digested is to blast apart the cell walls using a pretreatment facility that we have also installed. The steam explosion pretreatment facility uses high pressure and high temperature to blast open the structures of the plant cell walls, liberating the cellulose and allowing access by cell wall degrading enzymes. We use this machine as the first stage in the uh, process chain for converting lignin cellulosic biomass into bioethanol. The sample is introduced into the reactor vessel and it's pumped up with steam to um, high temperature and pressure and, uh, and then the pressure is released suddenly and this has the effect of um, blowing the material apart that should have opened up the structure nicely to allow access to the enzymes. Once the straw has been steam exploded, the structure of the straw has changed. The cellulosic components within the straw are now much more available to cell wall degrading enzymes. So what we do now is to digest the residual material with cell wall degrading enzymes to release the sugars and we then ferment those sugars using yeasts. We're very fortunate in collaborating under these projects with the National Question of Yeast Cultures at the Institute of Food Research. They have 4,000 yeast strains which enable us to optimise the fermentation process. And this is also being done in conjunction with the Wolfson Fermentation Laboratories at the University of East Anglia. Once the ethanol has been produced, we also have to consider where it's going to be used. We have a close collaboration with Lotus Engineering who are developing engines and improving engine performance to make the best use of biofuels such as bioethanol in order to make driving greener and leaner. 